Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to do more of a community spotlight. Uh, specifically, we're looking at this page, which is the dev community for Unreal Engine, where you can find documentation, tutorials, code snippets, community questions, and you have the forums and everything like that. So you have a lot of st stuff here. But the reason why we're looking at this page today is because they have released the Unreal Engine 5.1 roadmap. So let's take a look at that. This is the page we're taken to, and these are the things that they're working to include into the Unreal Engine 5.1 uh, release. You can also see previous releases here. Uh, in this section, you can find uh, lots of different areas where they are currently working on, and they are grouped into a lot of different categories like rendering, world building, developer iteration, character animation, audio, platform, geometry tools, pipeline. Uh, cinematic, oh sorry, chaos physics, uh, cinematic and virtual production, uh, framework, editor and UI systems. You can see there's a lot of different sections here with a lot of different areas that they're covering. So you can see some of the big ones like Lumen and Nanite here. And you can click on these posts and get sort of an understanding of what they are working on, what they're trying to uh, implement and get. So I would recommend that you go through these and well not all of them but you can look through the different ones and see if that's an area that's of interest for you depending on uh, what you are interested in knowing about or if it's an interest to the project that you're working on or anything like that. And in addition to finding areas where you are interested like maybe Nanite, you also have the opportunity here to give some sort of feedback of uh, how important a certain topic is to you. So something that's nice to have is low priority, but nice, important. You can see it's something that is very important to you and critical. They have categorized as something that uh, you really need this or you would consider a different product to be able to continue with what you're doing. So this is a nice way for Epic to allow some sort of two-way communication so that you can sort of they can gauge based on their community feedback what things they should be putting more effort and resources into essentially so looking at some of these of course lumen and nanite are always interesting in my opinion because um, they are continuously updating so that these will include more and be more feature full uh, products or parts of unreal engine 5 for me, when I go through this list, there are a few things that stand out. Uh, data layers is interesting for me. Uh, there is also things like um, uh, game features, plugins, source control integration improvements, always useful for any project. Uh, there were some other things I saw here. Uh, there's improvements going to be done for deformation. and There's going to be animation and retargeting and virtual production improvements. Uh, also within the debugging, which is uh, pretty close to my heart because I am uh, working with debugging a lot in my line of work normally. And you can see that they're working on animation with uh, motion matching and pose warping and a bunch of different things when it comes to audio, which I am not at all well versed with. with. Uh, but also I saw some other things here that were interesting, which was uh, chaos cloth improvements and the documentation for it and also some things when it came to the movie render queue and also let's see where are they mass entity smart objects uh, things related to uh, ai and such blueprint improvements you can see that they're going to be introducing some blueprint namespace uh, they're working on gameplay framework some replication and also some stuff with uh, UI when it comes to named slots and stuff like that and also localization. So there are a bunch of different areas here which they are currently working on and of course this is an ever-changing list. They can add things as they find uh, that they have more time to put more things into it. But uh, anyway, uh, the short of the matter is that this is a good place for you to go. I will include a link in down below so you can go here directly if you don't want to go through the, the dev community portal. Uh, and you can check out if there are certain interesting topics here that you can see if they're doing something that's uh, relevant for you and you can give some feedback back to Epic. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.
hopefully found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.